Hey guys, welcome to Game 5 of BSL Season 12 Chobo League Semifinals between Rancor and Grast, and this is going to be the match that decides who advances to the finals to play Exit. Upper left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the Purple Zerg. Upper right-hand corner, we have Grast starting as the Yellow Protoss. This is on Power Bond, which, if you guys do not recall, which, oops, don't want the replay progress bar. We want reveal entire map. Has kind of this... I really want to see Queen's Nest and a Command Center grab at some point. Well, this is still in the map pool for BSL. I think that would just be really entertaining. This is a three-player map, so you have the other main right here. And it's all sorts of resources all over the place on this map. So more macro-oriented. But both, these both of these guys have been more aggressive in the early game. And it's oftentimes the deciding factor of the match has been in the mid-game one direction or the other. So I don't know who to call it for. Grast has shown, despite getting early game aggression, I almost feel like it might be worthwhile for him to open up to get regardless. Keep in mind, this is a three-player map. It looks like we're going to see an over-something here. Looks like over-pool build for Rancor. And we are seeing a gateway opener once again from Grass, this time putting a pylon on the low ground. So he is going to have... I'm not sure if he could have put a pylon to, to reach over that corner, but that's going to make it a little bit easier to blockade should he r run into some trouble as far as a follow-up. And it looks like he is going to be able to scout this pool opener. And so I hope he follows this up with a Zealot and a Forge and a little bit more of... A macro base play. I like what Rancor is doing here, hiding this drone to the corner. Upon, I think that Overlord saw that drone moving out, and so he's going to be able to get to that natural expansion, plop down that hatchery without a lot of harassment. Grass is going to go ahead and try to poke away at that drone in the interim. He is going for double gateway again. Interesting. Upon seeing the pool opener, only two Zerglings being produced, that Overlord is moving up, is going to be able to see the initial Zealot, and going to be able to see that second gateway. Which surprises me. Okay, so knowing that Overlord's overhead, I'm actually shocked. A little, just straight up shocked that Grass decided to go for that second gateway and continue to produce zealots out of this. <clears throat> Rather than opting to peel back to a forge and play from there. Natural expansion on the way. Four zerglings out. And additional zerglings being produced. These zealots are basically going to have to play from a defensive... Like, just even coming out here are probably going to just need to seal that front door. And honestly, I don't feel like Grass should feel comfortable until he gets a forge out and gets a cannon down. And Rancor doesn't even need to attack with this. He can just try to keep an eye on these zealots. Looks like the two zealots, three zealots now moving forward. Let's see if Grass... Also, a big problem he's had in these previous matches is keeping these zealots cohesive to where they can support each other and engage the zerglings. It's kind of a whole group. The probe has exited Rancor's base in the interim. Still no movement toward, towards a forge or natural expansion. Has paused on the zealot production, though. Looks like the zealots are thinking better of it, and they're going to come back to home base and plop that nexus down. And Rancor just sealing up his front. So let's see if he goes... And that <laughs> unfortunately created the Zergling blockade in hoping of denying some information to Grast. I think Grast's going to see a lot of the... Oof going to see a significant amount of Zergling numbers, and I think Rancor might just go for a Zergling bust here. He is getting Zergling speed. He's already got a lot of Zerglings on the ground. No, I take it back. Hydra is done. Two hatch Hydra bust with the Zerglings and Zergling speed, <clears throat> which honestly, I don't know, might pay off. Two cannons warping in. It looks like he did get a forge at his main, also as his assimilator right there. Grass now playing in the dark. His natural expansion is going to be delayed. No more zealots being produced. And this is going to be difficult for Grasp to push back, in my opinion. Because typically when you are going up because of that early gateway, because of the delayed nexus, the amount of minerals that Grasp is going to have in the mid-game, as far as just probe saturation, etc., is going to be lower compared to what it usually would have been, which means he's going to have fewer minerals and it's going to be harder to have that spare mineral pool to drop a bunch of cannons and things like that at his main, potentially. Cybernetic score warping in. 
And I don't think he's going to have that Stargate and that Corsair out in time to see the Hydralisks bus coming. Hydralisks now being produced. Zergling still in position to deny any additional scout that might come out. And Grast is also, he's going to have to get it done on cannons because he's completely paused zealot production. Has a second assimilator, so he's hoping to get some sort of tech lead with more gas-heavy operations in the mid in the mid game. Range upgrading now. Hydralisks are coming out in decent numbers, so maybe with some genius micro and a probe pole, Grast will be able to push this back. Unfortunately, he's getting level one weapons once again before that Stargate's even finished. He's working on level one weapons and also planting a cannon down because Rancor, again, in earlier matches, Rancor playing mind games here, in earlier matches went for that Mutalisk play. He's trying to defend against a potential two-hatch Mutalisk uh, build in the dark. But instead, he's going to have a Hydra Bust. Third cannon warping in. So maybe with a nice pro pole, Grast will be able to equalize this. At the very least, he's certainly going to end up, okay, now planting additional cannons. Nice instincts. And the Corsair is going to be able to make its way across. So that's fortunate because usually what oftentimes happens there is you'll see additional gateways or something along those lines. Instead, put down two additional cannons and those additional cannons could be the difference in this match. Hydralisk is moving up, working on that gateway. This is pure Hydra bust, keep in mind. So this is just to clear it out of the way. First gateway down, additional cannons warping in. One cannon down, here we go. Rancor pushing off, probes are pulling off the line. The probes want to try to keep those Hydralisks, and at least attack the Hydralisks while they're engaging on those cannons. Additional cannons warping in, and Grass might have done it. He might have defended here. So loses a gateway for his effort, but has managed to repel Rancor's all in attack. Rancor re-engaging, probes pulling off the line once again, getting on top of these Hydralisks. And through a heads-up play, dropping two cannons, oof, and an Overlord dying overhead as well. So a heads-up play, dropping two additional cannons on the corner rather than two additional gateways. And nice pro pull. I believe Grast has repelled this, and that's going to put him in an excellent mid-game position. Also getting a lot of Overlords, because two Overlords were... Maybe Grast had that indication also because of the Overlord positioning. Looks like this Overlord with just 31 health is going to be able to back off. Level 1 weapons online. Now Grast able to fill in the difference with a lot of those gateways. Citadel of Adun. And he is in a strong position. Has two very well hatched, uh, very well hatched, very well saturated bases. Where Rancor has plunged his economy early game. To kind of play from here. He is moving up to, it looks like, 4 Hatch Hydralisk in the mid game. So I think what he's going to try to do is build more Hydralisks and follow this up with more of the same. All Grass has to do, though, is keep producing units. Keep producing Zealots, get that Zealot leg speed. He already has level 1 weapons finished. Corsair taking a bit of damage. It's still alive, though. Would be critical to get that Corsair in the base to go ahead and get a look at what's going on. Zerg layer about halfway finished. And it looks like a fifth hatchery being grabbed at a very aggressive location. So Rancor hoping to get some sort of Hydralisk contain as far as a follow-up. Potential lurkers. I don't think he's going to have enough, though, considering how delayed his economy was. Now that Corsair moving its way forward, I don't... There are Hydralisks that will be able to keep that Overlord alive, so Grast needs to be a little bit careful, but it's going to see that layer tech coming online. It's probably going to, well, it's going to lose the Corsair. Upon seeing that Hydralisk is able to back off, but is he going to see this base? It's going to be a critical component. Psystorm on the way. Level 1, Zealot Leg Speed also finishing. This is six gateways up, double Templar Archives, a bit of an accident for Grast, which will slow him down a little bit, but he's got a significant supply lead. Has range well before Lurkers are in position. Has is starting to open up his front door. And again, I don't think Rancor is going to be able to hold back Grast as far as the follow-up economy and basically just sheer overwhelming numbers that are going to come out of this. Double Evolution Chamber once again for Rancor. 
He's already behind in the upgrade war. Hydra is just testing the front. I think they just wanted to see whether Zealot leg speed was there or not. Zealot leg speed is in fact online. Hydra is sacrificing its life for that scouting information. Dark Templar out. There is an Overlord that's fairly damaged above here, and some dragoons floating out with these High Templar as well. Size Storm just about to finish. And so now Rancor not only ha not only losing any form of contain, he is going to have to worry about keeping his third base alive, and he's supply blocked at this stage of the match. Grass needs to keep this army together, though. So that the Zealots don't end up too far ahead. Creep Colony popping down additional hatchery, trying to create some sort of SimCity and defense here. Grass... Oh, that army getting split up. And the High Templar are not there to really provide some of those support storms. Now re-engaging. Sidestorming some of his Zealots and his own Dark Templar, unfortunately. There's a nice ice storm to follow things. Does Grass have enough between this and potential reinforcements to go ahead and take this space out? Rancor moving up with a lot of Hydralisks. And actually between kind of that misfire, I'm not sure. Psystorm is going to solve that question. So now the Hydralisks being pushed out. These hatcheries probably going to get wiped out. There's an Archon also morphing behind all of this. So that's going to be two Archons. A cancellation on Rancor realizing he's going to end up losing this third base. Archon's boxing out those Hydralisks. Upon the regather. Thing is, this grass still needs to reinforce this. Yeah, more zealots starting to move up. The overlords need to be a little bit careful. That poor Hydra is just getting absolutely slammed into whatever this thing is on that wall. Just slammed. Hatchery wiped out, and now Rancor is down to two bases. Grass has map control. He can go ahead and take his third base, and he has a large roving army. If you wanted to go ahead and try to press. I'm not sure that he has the Psy Storm. Available to to press and finish this, but he does have an army that is a sizable threat. Rancor at half the supply of Grast. Dragoon getting pecked at and wiped out. And here's the problem for Rancor. Oof. He needs to worry about surviving. And on top of that, he's basically not going to be producing drones or getting any sort of economy in his survival mesh. And that's GG from Rancor. Grast just having overwhelming army here. And Grast will advance to the finals. So it is going to be Exit versus Grast in the Showbo League finals. This was a fantastic series. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it overall. I enjoyed casting it. Congratulations to Grast. Rancor, honestly, seemed like every series Rancor was in was an exciting series to watch. Hope to see him in future BSLs. Hopefully up in Hasu League next time. Thank you guys for listening. And again, follow, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, Patreon. Uh, and check these guys out wherever they're at, CPL, uh, on ladder, etc. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.